So? So? Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. However, I cannot think he's Is that? Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? Greetings, citizen. My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimmer. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de Lasser's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de Lasser. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lasser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. That went about as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. Francois Germain believed Lafreniere was... Yes? Where is he? His shop's on Rue Saint-Antoine. Why? What the... Elise?
Where are you going? Ah, the oh. puppy team says hey. What are you doing? Slow down! What was that about? Honor. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. It might not even be the same chef man. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same chef man. Looks like no one's home. Elise. Don't tell me. It's a trap. Well, look who it is. Kill them. That was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau as soon as we... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down! Do you see them? The windows, across the street. Watch out!
to rise to the Templar's highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with Arno. He might have outlived his Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop L. Elise? Monsieur Mirabeau? Elise? Elise? What is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the Council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. What is that? It's... the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. Handkerchief. Ladies handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects then? 
Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kema. Templar poison, Templar pin, it looks damning. Bravo, you figured it out. My cunning plan was to murder the only assassin who doesn't want to see me dead, then stand about waiting to be discovered. Not the only assassin. You're right, I'm sorry. But you know this wasn't my doing. I believe you. The Brotherhood, though. Then let's find the real killer before they get wind of this. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course. But I do know of an apothecary in Lamare who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. Well? You had access to Mirabeau. You've disagreed with him publicly on many occasions, and you plainly know how to kill a man. 
I also have gout so severe I cannot climb stairs some days, and my eyes grow dimmer with every passing week. To say nothing of the dozen or more brother assassins who can vouch for the fact that I've been here since dawn. Forgive me, I didn't mean to imply. No, you meant to accuse, and you did it rather poorly. Now kindly stop wasting the time you've been given, and find the true killer. Oui, monsieur. Greetings, citizen. Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might add. Not again! Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! Slow down! Wait! Don't hurt me! I just have a few questions. Slow down. Wait! Stay back, you animal! I just have a few questions! Damn, Pelak! Leave me alone! Do I know you, citizen? Woohoo! Over here! Oh, please! I never told anyone! I did just as you said! What are you talking about? You... you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man! Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know! I never saw his face! Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison! I didn't ask questions! I keep only a small quantity in stock! He took that straight away, but he told me... Where? To drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here! That's all I know, I swear it! Go on then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. 
Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? What do you hope to find here? This is where the apothecary says he delivered the poison. I'm hoping I can pick up a trail and follow it back to the source. Pick up a trail? Are you a bloodhound now? Something like that.
trail ends here. Are you sure? I'm sure. No. Wait here. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not letting you go in there alone. Elise. I have to do this myself. Please. I understand. You'd better come back to me. Go! Took you long enough, piss pot. Balek. Should have known it'd be you that find me. Only question is, what happens now? You poisoned Mirabeau. He poisoned us. Peace with the Templars is a fairy tale. And you're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? You think it's the first time this has happened? The first time that the assassins have been forced to purge their leadership? The first time that the Order has built itself back up from nothing to power. No. Masyaf, Monteregioni, the American colonies. It's all happened before. And we have risen anew, stronger than ever. But now, we've lost our purpose, Arno. We mired ourselves in politics and revolutions, but we're not a nation. We're an army. And in an army, making peace with the enemy is called treason. No, I'm not the only one that can save the Brotherhood. We can. Together. Alec. You know I can't do that. That's a pity. <laughs> Belek, please, come back to the council with me. We can resolve this like reasonable men. Reasonable men don't treat with Templars, boy. You disappoint me, this boy. <laughs> You better than this! Get up! Get up!
Belek, please, come back to the council. We can resolve this like reasonable men. Reasonable men don't treat with Templars, boy! Yourself. I can, Belek. I just don't think like... Open your eyes, boy! I've seen Templars put entire villages to the sword just for the chance of killing one assassin. Tell me, in your vast experience, what have you seen? I've seen the Grand Master of the Templar Order take in a frightened orphan and raise him as his own son. Fine. Stay there.
I should have left you to rot in the Bastille. Tell me, did you ever really believe in the Creed? Or were you a Templar-loving traitor from the start? It doesn't have to be this way, Belek. You're the one who's making it so! If you just see sense, we could take the brother into a height we've not seen in 200 years! Yes, killing everyone who disagrees with you is a brilliant way to start your rise from the ashes. Now we see the heart of it. It's not Mirabeau that's poisoned your mind, it's her. She's the last piece of this god-fucked lunacy. Belek. You'll thank me for this. One day. You should have listened to me. So listen. Time to end. So listen to me. Time to end. You had your chest. Oh. 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 <clears throat> Do it. You got an answer conviction. And you're just a love out of milk sop. Save the Brotherhood. I'd see Paris burn. I know. Finish it! Thank you, my friend. Gotta get you back to that boy of yours in one piece. Don't we, piss pot? Drop this. Well... I'll be damned. So you're really going through with this? Your protege vouches for her. Don't you trust him? With my life. It's the girl I don't trust. Nothing I can say to convince you. I'm afraid not. Thought not. Chin. Chin. I pose on pay. I pose on pay. Opening a bridge now. You know, Deacon, I think Abstergo are still riled up about your job last month. Oh, you don't say. Okay, the bridge is open. Go. You can't snoop around Abstergo's secret data without ruffling a few feathers, right? Well, we didn't just snoop, did we? We stole their data, destroyed their sample, and, uh, oh yeah, we melted a few of their servers. That'll do it.
Here we go again. Back inside a mess of broken code. This time, the portal is above you, a few hundred meters. Unfinished memories are way too dangerous. You need to find a way out. I'll guide you as best I can. out. Hurry!
is highly unstable. Damn it, it's gone. Keep going, we can reopen it. That should do it, you'll have to jump. Voila! We're back. Thanks, Deacon. Let's try to keep these transfers to a minimum, okay? Hey, come off it. That's entirely up to your initiate, my friend. I'm not the one leaving so many digital footprints around Paris. You might confuse them for tiny doggy pats. Noted. We'll call you if we need you.